Allah, then they see something that is more fearing of Allah, that's more in line with taqwa, فَلْيَأْتِ taqwa take taqwa rawahu muslim. What this means is a person, they make an oath. Oath is a serious thing. You say, Wallahi, I'm going to do something. If you break an oath, you have to either free, um, uh, you have to free a slave, right? That doesn't happen anymore. So you have to feed 10 poor people or clothe 10, uh, 10 people, right? If you can't do one of these three things, so it's not that you fast three days. Either you feed 10 poor people or you clothe 10 poor people. If you can't do them, then you have to fast three days. So breaking an oath is a serious thing. But what if you take an oath and you say, Wallahi, I'm not going to talk to my uncle anymore. This, he didn't come to my shadi, right? I'm not going to talk to him. Now you're breaking family ties. So now this oath is on one side. You have to fulfill oaths. But this oath is not something good. It's not in line with taqwa. So Rasulullah says, he said, break the oath, take taqwa. So even if something as serious as an oath, you'll break for taqwa, you'll break you, uh, in other, in our, the rest of our life, we should always give taqwa preference. The last thing, Al-Khamis an Abi Umamata Sudday ibn Ajlan al-Bahili radiyallahu anhu qal. Sudday radiyallahu ta'ala an, he was one of the last Sahabi to pass away. I'll mention this, uh, the last Sahabis to pass away in each city, inshallah next week, okay? But what he did was radiyallahu anhu, next year, inshallah. Qala, sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yaqtuhu fi hajjatil wada'ah. I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam giving a khutbah on hajjatul wada'ah. Faqal. What did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? Now look at the significance of this. Hajjatul wada'ah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knew his life was near an end. He knew he was going to leave the dunya very soon. And he never addressed as large a crowd in his life. So the things that he's going to say are going to be of the utmost importance because not only is it the biggest crowd, he knows that these are the last words that people are going to hear from him. In public, the first thing he says, Ittaqullah, fear of Allah. This is the essence of our deen. Fear of Allah, awareness of Allah, and this is something that Muslims don't have anymore. Our ghayrat is God. We do all sorts of things, we don't have this fear of Allah. Ittaqullah, fear of Allah. Wasallu khamsakum, number two, pray your five salahs. Number three, wasumu shahrakum, fast your month of Ramadan. Wa addu zakata amwalikum, give the zakat of your wealth. Wa ati'u umara'akum. And obey your leaders. تَدْخُلُ جَنَّةَ رَبَّكُمْ You will enter the Jannah of your Rabb. Right? So the first thing Rasulullah says, mentioned is taqwa. If you're aware that Allah is watching you at all times, if you're living your life as if you're watching Allah, how will you not pray? How will you not fast? How will you not give zakah? How will you not obey those who have authority over you? And if you do this thing, تَدْخُلُ جَنَّةَ رَبَّكُمْ You live your life as if you're seeing Allah in Jannah, you actually see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rawahu tirmizi, inshaAllah ta'ala. Rawahu tirmizi, imam tirmizi rahimahullah ta'ala. He narrates this hadith. في آخر كتاب الصلاة. He mentions at the end of كتاب الصلاة وقال حديث حسن صحيح. This hadith is حسن and this hadith is صحيح. إن شاء الله the next chapter that will begin is the chapter of توكل because when a person has تقوى when a person realizes that Allah سبحانه وتعالى is watching them Allah is with them they'll praise place their full trust on Allah سبحانه وتعالى that's that's why the next chapter is the chapter of توكل and يقين على الله تعالى إن شاء الله next year we'll begin by mentioning the last the sahabas that the last sahaba to die in each uh, city and inshallah we'll also begin the next chapter inshallah we have to show you alhamdulillah rabbil alamin salatu wa salamu ala sayyidil anbiya wal mursalin habibina wa habibi rabbil alamin allahumma inni as'aluka al huda wa tuqa wa al afaf wa al zina ya rabbil alamin ya rabbil alamin ya rabbil alamin please accept the jazz of allah ya rabbil alamin we're sitting here with no ulterior motive ya allah we're sitting here ya allah just to hear the blessed words of your nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we ask that you allow us to sit in the majlis of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Jannah. Ya Allah, we ask that you make us your beloved, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask that on the basis of us sitting here, Ya Allah, that on the day of judgment when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when we go to him, he doesn't turn away his face from us. Rather, he looks at us and he smiles at us and he embraces us and says that you used to listen to my words. You used to sit every week and while Imam Sahib went too long, and you listen to that, my words out of love for me, so you come to Jannah with me. I'll do shafa'ah for you. Ya Rabbal Alameen, Ya Akram Al-Akrameen, make Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam happy for our sitting, 
and listening to his words. Ya Allah, along with his happiness to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, allow us to do a'mal that will make you and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam happy. Ya Allah, we've covered so many things, tawbah, istighfar, taqwa. Ya Allah, make us uh, manifestations and examples of taqwa in this world, Ya Allah. Make us examples of taqwa in this world, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, keep us steadfast on Iman, Ya Allah. Each person here, Ya Allah, and each of their children, Ya Allah, and all of their descendants till Qiyamah, Ya Allah. Guide us, guide our families, and help the entire Muslim Ummah. Sallallahu ta'ala. Muhammad wa